tell me why I have Hannah Montana music songs going through my head. Just so good. No, don't lick me. You're gonna make my face itchy. I'm sending you all the good vibes that I am feeling. It is as big as my head. Good morning, happy Sunday. Welcome to another week of the vlog. I am up bright and early. Put you guys down here. And the reason for that is because today at work, I work at Orange Theory. Oh, you guys are crooked, sorry. So today at Orange Theory, we are doing the dry try. It's basically Orange Theory's own little triathlon. It's a 2000 meter row. 300 rep challenge on the weight floor and then a 5k on the treads. So it's for sure a challenge, but it's super fun. Usually it's like a fun atmosphere. Everyone's cheering each other on and I am going and doing it and then helping floor coach the, the rest of it. So I'm excited. Also slightly nervous because my legs have been very sore lately. So that run will be um, a struggle. It's okay though. I'm excited. The only thing is I 100% screwed myself over because last week's vlog should go up at 12.30 today, but I did not finish editing it. Normally I do a lot of my editing on Saturday afternoon after I get home from work, but yesterday instead I went and went to like a rooftop and hung out with people and enjoyed a very fun Saturday, which I... I'm grateful for honestly it's just been nice to hang out with people so we'll see if I get the vlog up today or not uh, keep you posted also later today I get to walk the puppy if you haven't watched past videos there's a puppy in my building that I've been walking pretty regularly for the past like two weeks now and I get to walk her today so that always makes it a great day <laughs> she's so cute anyway I'm gonna finish eating and then whoop, gotta get going and I'm home. What a wonderful start to a Sunday. Um, I didn't really film anything there, or actually I didn't film anything there because it's just like I'm at work, I was working out, and then I was helping coach, so it's like I just can't really show you guys that. But it was super fun. I ended up only doing the sprint, which is half of everything, so it's a thousand meter row, 150 reps on the floor and then a 1.55 mile run so and I finished it in under 25 minutes it was so fun I feel so good now I am disgusting I need to shower I need to edit we got shit to do today decided lunch is the first priority because I am very hungry we're gonna do a little wrap action a little, little wheat wrap Got some Dijon here. Then we're gonna do a little spinach. Just a little bit. And some baby arugula. And then <laughs> we're going really simple today. All I'm gonna do is put some chicken on. Yum. <laughs> right on top. Let's see if this will even roll at all. Might be more of like a quesadilla <laughs> the least wrap wrap ever what would make this better is some tomato oh and some like mozzarella cheese oh that would be good this this does the trick though if i wasn't tired from running before I am gonna be after this. Vlog is exporting, as you can hear from my very loud computer. I really thought that they were gonna be shorter as the weeks went on, but they're all like 30 to 40 minutes. But I feel like it's fine, cause this is something that it's like, you'd put it on in the background while you're doing stuff. So it's kind of like nice and I like it. I like sharing what I'm doing with you guys. So thanks for watching. I'm really glad to have you guys here. So I think now, while this is exporting, I might make some dinner or figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner because I don't really have a lot of food anymore. I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So yeah. 
figured out dinner. We're just having another burrito bowl because I still had chicken left. I still had another pepper I could cut up. I had rice. I had an open thing of beans still. This is why you just gotta make food in bulk. I made this rice. Uh, I don't know when it was that I made it, but I've used it for like three or four meals. And look at how much I still have. Really, if you're okay with eating things multiple times in a week, it's easy to be frugal and still like eat well. Just can't be picky. If it wasn't clear from that last little clip, um, I had a burrito bowl like three or four times last week. Um, if you watched last week's vlog, you would see that. Um, but in case you didn't, burrito bowl, rice, black beans, chicken, peppers, salsa, which I forgot, but we'll add. Bon appetit. The vlog is almost done exporting. Once it's done exporting, you have to upload it to YouTube and make a thumbnail and do all that fun stuff. It is 7.44. She's up. <laughs> Finally. I think my goal moving forward is to actually edit when I say I am going to edit because this past week I just really screwed myself by not editing throughout the week because I want to be able to do fun things on the weekend and if I just save all of my editing for the weekend I can't do fun things so anyway I will see you guys tomorrow good morning happy Monday I am headed to Orange Theory to go work out. I am slightly sore from yesterday from doing the sprint dry try, but I find a lot of times when I'm sore, as long as it really is just like soreness and not pain, it's better to just keep moving because it makes the soreness go away faster. So, pro tip for you. <laughs> Let's go work out. It is quite a bit later and I am about to have some lunch. I made a breakfast wrap, it's just eggs and spinach and some cheddar cheese for lunch because I really need to go grocery shopping but I don't think that's gonna happen today. I am wearing jeans, crazy, I know. I went and got a COVID test just to like be safe, you know, I feel like it's a good idea especially with the number of people that I am around at work. Came back negative so we're good there gonna eat and then I've got a busy day I'm gonna eat then I have a coach meeting for orange theory and then I have to film my video for tomorrow which is an unboxing video from public goods the company um, if you've never heard of them check out my video it'll be up when this goes up maybe I'll link it in one of these spots. So yeah, that'll be a fun video to film. Should be pretty easy and quick. So yeah, and then I have to walk the dog. And then I think I might see about going to Brooklyn to my friend Lena's house or apartment. Maybe have a little sleepover. Full day, busy Monday. 6,000 meters road, 600 reps of five Love being able to zoom in. Meeting is over. It was a nice fast one. It was 2.04. We started at 1.30. Love that because now I've got two and a half hours until I have to go walk the dog. So I have plenty of time to set up and film and not feel rushed. Yes. 
Just finished filming the unboxing video and I am putting all of the footage into Premiere so I can go over it really quick and see if there's any information that I forgot to say or show or all that fun stuff because I'm so bad at sit down videos. <laughs> I'm not good at, I like don't know how to memorize things anymore. I used to be kind of good at it when I was younger, but I just lost that skill, I guess. So <laughs> this should be interesting to edit. I'm emptying out my backpack from the weekend so that I can pack into it. I forgot to show you guys my medal for competing in the Orange Theory Dry Try. How fun. I love it. I love Orange Theory. I love my job. I'm, I'm very happy, guys. I'm, I hope you guys are happy too because I'm sending you all the good vibes that I am feeling. So I love you. And the favorite part of my day. Hey, Zoe. Zoe. She is occupied. Life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Let's make it rock. Tell me why I have Hannah Montana music songs going through my head. I don't know. Dog walk, wonderful, as always, love that dog. Uh, now I gotta pack up and we're gonna head to Brooklyn. Ah. So since I'm staying over, I'm gonna bring my own breakfast so that I don't have to eat all of their food. So I'm gonna bring the last of my oats, but I'm going to use this Pampered Chef container, because I can do this and put all of the, oh, I'm making a mess. Do the rest of it over the trash. Two and a half months, almost, yeah, two and a half months I've been here. Gone through a whole thing of oatmeal. I do have it like multiple times a week for breakfast. Two pounds, two pounds of oatmeal, crushed it. Now we recycle. Okay, see now what I can do. So I've got my oats in here. I definitely wish I had a little bit more, but it is what it is. Then there's this part that sits in it that I can put my sliced almonds in. That's probably enough, yeah. And then I put my agave on top of that. Well, there's another compartment. So this sits in like this, and then this is the lid. On the top half of the lid, there's another little space. I don't know if this will really work because it might be kind of difficult to come out, but I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna try. I'll just like scoop it out with a spoon. Ah, look at that. Breakfast for tomorrow. There's literally graffiti everywhere. I love it. And it is also dead silent. It is quite refreshing. <laughs> Made it to Lena's. Hey. We going to take Mr. Sir Henry on a walk. Good boy, Henry, sit. Sit. Good boy. I know what is this. You're in the camera. You're in the camera. <laughs> he like doesn't know what to do. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No. No. Good morning. <laughs> no, don't lick me. You're gonna make my face itchy. <laughs> I love dogs, but I'm allergic to their saliva, so when they lick me, I get all red and itchy. Henry is wide awake. Lena, it's like just 9 a.m. She's already working and on a meeting, and I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> this is the pajama fit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's like I'm making breakfast at home. Pampered chef, baby. Now to tell the job. On 
makes me granola. You granola? I've fallen and I can't get up. Henry wants it. Ta-da! You do. Taking a little break from editing and just going around the corner to get some coffee. It's a beautiful day out today. Oh, it's supposed to get up to like low 60s, so I'm very excited. Video is up. It should be posting in like three minutes. Already working on this week's vlog, and Lena's working out with Henry distracting her. <laughs> Doing great. Back to Manhattan we go, and look at this. This is what I'm wearing, and I'm not cold at all. Spring is here. And I'm back home, very sweaty. Look, <laughs> I was like, am I gonna be cold wearing just a t-shirt? Nope, it's hot. It's so funny too, because it's like, it's that time of year where half the people you pass are wearing like their puffy winter jackets and then the other half of the people are like dressed like me and then the rest of the people are in an in-between. And I know that's not how math works, but you, you know what I mean. I feel like no matter how much I clean these floors, they will always be dirty. I do live in a building that's like a hundred years old though, so could just be a hundred years of dirt just stuck in there. I am going to light my new candle that I got from Public Goods. This was one of the things that I unboxed in my video. Go check it out. The scent is cedar and suede, and it smells delectable. Guys, I think I might get Five Guys. Oh, I love Five Guys burgers. I haven't had one in a very long time. I am looking rough right now. It is very warm in my apartment. I think I'm gonna get a Five Guys burger. It depends on if there's a Five Guys like less than a 10 minute walk. If there's a Five Guys less than a 10 minute walk, I'll go get it. If it's further than that, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, okay, let's see. So, McDonald's it is? Hmm, maybe? Might, might just be, might, might be the move. I've secured the goods. I am so excited to eat this. You know, sometimes you just crave a burger and I always find it is best to just lean into your cravings because oh, otherwise you're just gonna keep having the craving and keep 
stopping yourself from eating what you want and then eventually it's just gonna be that craving is so bad that you just binge and eat like too much so I always find it's better to just lean into your craving enjoy a little bit and then move on oh baby Mm, mm, mm. sad the fries are already cold but that's okay they still taste great i got the bacon quarter pounder and i'm very excited like it's not the best burger but it does the trick there's also just something about mcdonald's pickles that they put on the burgers it's just so good sweet tea Bacon quarter pounder, medium fry. And with that, I bid you a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I slept horribly last night because I went to bed at 10, and promptly at 10, they started road work outside down the street where they were like jackhammering the road. So that was fun to fall asleep to. And then I woke up at like 6 in the morning having had a dream about Nazis, so I'm like, what is going on with my brain right now? And then couldn't really fall back asleep because there was so much street noise. But I'm still going to go work out because I think it'll make me feel better. Solid start to the day. Just got out of work, Orange Theory, and it is pouring out. I honestly looked at Ubering, or actually Lyft, because Lyft is always cheaper. And it was still going to be like $25 to go like one mile, so... We're weathering the storm. Oh my God, it is legit downpouring. That was a very wet walk, ready? Will it, no, it doesn't show. No, it's not gonna show, but they are quite moist. Anyway, I didn't really vlog much today. I didn't really do much. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. We are having a wonderful, lazy morning. It is about 10.30. I've been awake since like 9, but I've just been chilling in bed, going through my email, watching some YouTube, already had my cup of coffee, just enjoying not having to do anything right now. But I think I am getting kind of hungry, so I think I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast and then maybe do a little like, a little morning flow... Pilates-esque, yoga-esque something just to like move my body and then I really need to go grocery shopping so I think we're gonna do that today finally. I've been saying I need to do that every day of the week. <laughs> so that's what we'll get to later today. So I just realized I don't have any yogurt left so this is all we have for the smoothie today. We'll make it work. what I'm talking about. Now that I'm sweating. Oh yeah. Perfect. Not even gonna put it in a cup, just gonna a little tart, but I think it's just because it's literally just berries and almond milk and spinach, so. It'll do.
So I just finished the workout and I am about to get dressed to go grocery shopping and I wanted to see the temperature outside. It's 57 degrees outside. It is supposed to get up to 70 today. <gasps> what? The unfortunate thing is that it's very overcast. Like, focus. Okay, it's just like very overcast and cloudy. So I wonder if maybe like as it warms up, the sky is just gonna clear. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, but so we're gonna go grocery shopping. Yeah. Grocery shopping fit. I am wearing the same biker shorts that I wore on Tuesday, but I don't even care. And then I have my baboon to the moon fanny pack and look at this i have two reusable grocery bags in there ready to go so now i'm hands free What did I say? Whoops. What did I say? It cleared up and now it's a beautiful day. I think we should do a little Trader Joe's haul. I think yes. Move this out of the way. Right. <gasps> Two bags. They are so heavy. Honestly, I really thought I was gonna spend like $100. It ended up only being $63.13. So I am very impressed. Love Trader Joe's prices. Let's see what we got. Tomatoes, red pepper, cremini mushrooms, um, a large tomato, white onion, red onion, shallots, frozen berries, frozen mango, Frozen peaches, all need to go directly into the freezer. Some Greek yogurt, baby carrots. Um, their coconut and almond creamer, this stuff is so good. Chicken broth, some fusilli pasta, whole cauliflower. That's the first bag. Then we've got baby spinach, eggs, bananas, asparagus, yum, apples, gala apples, nice big cuke celery, frozen sweet potato gnocchi, the veggie masala burgers, really good, both need to go in the freezer, mozzarella, Brussels sprouts. I got this salmon. It says it's already cooked, so I don't know exactly how it's gonna be, but they only, I really wanted salmon, but they only had like large amounts and I just wanted like a piece for myself, so we'll see how that goes. Of course, the pretzel bread. My absolute favorite, must get every time. And then I got this impulse buy at the checkout line. It's sparkling apple cider vinegar in lemon and strawberry flavor. So we'll try it out, see how it is. That is everything. Ooh, it's beautiful. So colorful too, I love it. All right, now I have to put it all away. Time for my favorite thing. Mm. Just so good. They just like sweet bread with like a little salty. Mm. I love them. Also, I'm just really feeling this fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the mistake that I made is I went grocery shopping, but now I need lunch but I have to like make something to have lunch. And I really don't feel like doing that. And I also have to walk the dog in 50 minutes. So I think I'm gonna go get a burrito from this place around the corner from my apartment that I've been really wanting to go to. I walk by it all the time and it always looks so good. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Ooh, 
here we go. I'm so excited. Oh, they even gave me a little tiny bag of chips. That is adorable. Ooh, we got some sauces. Not really a sauce person, but oh, baby. Look at this. Oh, yes. Look at how fat this burrito is. It is as big as my head. I'm so excited. Look at that. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I got the carnitas burrito without sour cream and with guacamole. That's good. I'm definitely not gonna eat this very attractively, so I'm just gonna turn the camera off now to spare us all. <laughs> Time to try the apple cider vinegar. I couldn't even finish that whole burrito, it was so massive. It smells good. <clears throat> I mean, you can for sure still taste the apple cider vinegar, but I'm impressed. Did anyone else's mom make them drink apple cider vinegar shots when they were sick as a kid? Because mine did. If I had tasted like this, I would have been drinking it every day. Having a very like nice chill Thursday. I'm enjoying it. After I walk the dog though, I think I'm gonna sit and do some editing just to not leave it all till the end of the week like I have been. Woo, that's the plan. It's about 7.30, I've been editing for a few hours and now I am going to watch some Hulu, eat my leftover burrito, shower and go to bed because I now work Friday mornings at Orange Theory so I have to get up very early. Um, so gotta get in bed at a good time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is 5.52 a.m. Got some scrambled eggs on some toast, coffee, gotta leave to go to work soon. I'm standing up to eat because I don't trust myself to get back up if I sit down. If there is any silver lining to getting up this early to go to work, there's barely anyone out so I can actually like enjoy my coffee on my way to work. I don't have to wear my mask the whole way. It's so nice. Find the silver linings in your day, friends. Whoa. Time to coach. We out here in these glowing orange lights coached two classes, did some admin work. <clears throat> Now I have one more class to coach, but I have some time because it's 11.23 and class isn't until 12.15. I was thinking maybe I would do the workout, but it took me a little longer to do the admin work, so we're just chilling. City biking at home, baby. Back home and it took me literally less than 10 minutes doing the city bike. Granted. It was also one of the electric ones, so that definitely helped, but I got an email this morning from City Bike saying that they had a 15 day free trial, so I was like, yes, please. So I will be City Biking a lot for the next 15 days at least, and then probably getting a City Bike membership after that, so feeling good, doing great. It is so hot outside. It is 81 degrees. It's March and it's 81 degrees outside. It is summer. It's summertime outside. It's wild. Just took Zoe for a walk and it was beautiful. This was the fit. I did not eat lunch yet because I got home and had to like change and do some other stuff before I walked Zoe. So now I am starving, so we're gonna eat. We're gonna have this salmon, nice and cold, and some arugula, mozzarella, and balsamic vinegar for lunch. I think it'll be like a nice little salad. So I'm super excited because I get to hang out with Zoe for a couple hours tomorrow morning. 
I got someone to cover my first three classes at work so that I could watch the dog. I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. She's just going to hang out with me down in my apartment. I'm going to chill. I'm probably going to walk. Enjoy a Saturday morning. I love arugula so much. I think we're just gonna do arugula. Keep it simple. Yum. Cheese on salad, what's better than that? I think that's all I need. And then we're just gonna put this whole salmon. It says you can just eat it straight out of the package because it's already fully cooked, so. Woohoo. Ta-da! Beautiful. You better believe this is gonna be in the thumbnail. <laughs> it's so pretty. Add a little drizzle drizzle. Ooh, yum. How good does this look? I mean, we'll see how good this salmon actually is, but it looks amazing, so we're off to a great start. Got my Instagram picture. Stunning. All right. Let's dig into this pre-cooked salmon. Not bad. A little saltier, I feel like. Adds a nice flavor to the salad. Especially since I didn't put any seasoning on the salmon. The convenience for the price and the flavor and everything, I'd say it's worth it. I think it was maybe four or something at Trader Joe's. I'd say it's a win. This is a beautiful lunch. I'm so happy with this right now. Summer, here I come. Watch it like snow in a week. Alright, well, I'm going to finish this. And then... One of my friends from college, who used to live in New York and then moved home when the shutdown happened, is here visiting with her boyfriend for the weekend. And I think we're going to go and hang out later. Maybe get some drinks. Enjoy the sunshine. So, um, I'll keep you posted. Just after 6 o'clock, I'm meeting my friend Colleen. This is the fit. Oh, yes. And you better believe we are city biking down because of that free trial. morning guys happy saturday i have had the most relaxing morning i got to hang out with the dog for a couple hours went on a walk we cuddled she's the best and now i have to go and coach the last class at orange theory also i painted my nails Ooh, nice color for the spring um but yeah so we're gonna go coach the last class at orange theory mm -mm -mm. oh and then i get to walk zoe again later what a wonderful saturday and it's nice out, yay. Back home, coached my one class at Orange Theory and I'd had two people in it, but honestly, it was a great time. Anyway, all I have left to do today is walk the dog again. That's my day. It's about five o'clock. This was the dog walking fit. Made some sweet potato gnocchi with chicken, Italian chicken sausage for a late lunch, early dinner situation. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be doing anything except editing the rest of the night. So, thanks for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you next week. Bye.